hello everyone welcome back in this video we'll see managing the boot process and scheduled process so let me clear the existing one okay let me create a sample yaml file schedule.yaml okay so first we'll see scheduling with at module so here name remove temp user using the at module command user del temp user count 20 units minutes unique yes okay so the quick one time scheduling is done with the add module here we can create the job for a future time to run and it is held until that time comes to execute okay so there will be some six parameters that you know we can that comes with this module for example command count script state unique and units and for appending commands with the cron module let's see an example for that using cron module so it will be cron and name of the cron job flash bolt user root and minutes 45 r 11 and the job php slash app slash net cache clear so this will be the you know sample syntax for using the cron job okay so next we'll see managing services with the system d and system modules okay system d and service modules okay for example let's see the service module and name start and next service name nginx and state started okay so similarly for uh, system d module we can use reload uh, web server module name will be system d and the name apache 2 and the state reload daemon reload yes okay and uh, next we'll see the reboot module For example reboot after patching use the reboot module reboot timeout 180 seconds okay 
and force a quick reboot for this you can just mention reboot okay so next uh, we'll see the shell and command module we often uh, use this in the ida command also okay for example run a templated variable like always use code filter to avoid injection okay so the module name will be shell cat my file type symbol code okay so to sanitize any variables it is suggested that uh, we use in the open brace where code and stuff just where okay so like the service and uh, the system d modules the shell and uh, the command can interchange some task so the command module is considered more secure but some environment variables are not available also stream operators will not work if we need to stream your commands then shell module will do okay so this command only you can use the command module user bin scrape logs.py arg1 argument 2 okay for arg1 chdir scripts and creates path to script okay we can pass argument into the form to provide the options okay so that's it in this video and i'll see in the next thank you